ask Tom on home show. Jay from Baton Rouge, Louisiana has a question about a crawl space. He's building, or they're building, um, up in Mountain Home, Arkansas, Tom, so I wow. think they're fixing to move. In fact, Jay writes, it's our retirement home and will be on piers about four to five feet off the ground due to being in a floodplain next to a creek. Um, I have seen some of your videos about crawl spaces. So as for the ground underneath, would you pour concrete, put a layer of rocks or what? And for insulation, would you recommend spray foam, bat insulation, foil back foam, what? Charlie, uh, uh, two things about this. And one, he probably won't do. Uh, but I would consider the fact that if you're going five feet in the air, Adding three more feet of height it is not going to cost much. And then you can use it as a garage. You can use it as storage space. You can put lawnmowers and stuff down there. So that would be my first suggestion to him. And that would be pour concrete. And then you'd have a great storage space. Now, the reason I say that is I built a home in a floodplain for somebody once. And it went almost five feet tall. And when he finally got to crawl under there, he said, Tom, I want, I wish we had gone higher and he had this door and you'd have to get real low and you bang your head and you get his lawnmowers and stuff under there. And he always regretted not going those few extra feet. So I'm going to throw that out first. But secondly, underneath the house, depending on how the water drains, number one, and this is what you're looking for. You want to make sure no water drains under the house around the perimeter of the home, no matter what kind of site it's on, it has to drain away from the house. And then whether it goes down a hill or to a street, Wherever the water goes, it cannot go under the house. So in that case, underneath the house has to be a little higher than the surrounding areas. If you would like to put crushed granite or something under there, that would be fine. In some areas where we have lesser crawl spaces, we'll use bank sand, but it still has to be higher so it stays dry. If you wanted to pour concrete, you could, but that'd be a big expense if you couldn't use it for some reason. And that's why I say if you poured concrete, you added three more feet, you could literally drive your car under there and do different things under the house and you wouldn't have to worry about uh, these kind of issues. But probably uh, if you want to do granite or sand is the most common thing, just make sure it's higher than the surrounding area. Unless you're in Houston, Texas and you lift your house, you're not allowed to put anything under it. And that could be there too. I don't know. I just remember you can as long as you don't mind losing it. It's like in Galveston, Texas, mm -hmm. where you have the stilled homes. You can put your car under there. Lord knows it's going to be gone right. in a flood. You'll have to walk out of there. Right. But uh, nobody seems to care as, as long as it's not a conditioned living space. So well, you, there's a lot of different rules mm -hmm. to get into. Well, if you have a house in Galveston, it could be gone in the next storm. So yeah, a of course. Different, a whole different kettle of fish. And I'll bet anything you on the coast. Mountain. Yeah, up yeah. in Mountain Home, Arkansas, they probably have a little more liberal. You <laughs> and know, it's probably not as wet because it's going to be a higher elevation and yeah. things like that. But if you're on a sloping site, you have to remember the water's got to go around. It can't go under. It cannot have a mm -hmm. clean path under a home. You're going to have a mess. Yeah, to that point, Tom, do you want to maybe mm -hmm. consider putting something that percolates under there? Like like you're saying, the crushed granite or something like that? That would actually, if, if water does get under there, that would help it percolate it down into the soil? And that's why we use sand, too. And the answer is yes. And you could put sand and then just a thin layer of rock on top, as long as you're not walking around it and squishing the rock down underneath. But sand is literally little tiny rocks. So water doesn't want to sit on it. It wants to go below the surface of the sand. And that way you don't have mud when you have sand. You have mud when you have dirt because it won't let the water go through. But sand will let the water go through. So it's a great drainage uh, uh, it's used for, for go doing good drainage systems. It's part of the package usually. All right. You got a question? You can get an answer by clicking on that blue Ask Tom button over there. You can fill out the form, send it in, or you can even send us a video of, uh, of your challenge. We love getting the pictures because that really helps us understand. You know, a lot of times Tom will say, I wish I was on the phone with you or send me a picture so I can see what you're talking about. So feel free to do that because we post a new video every day at homeshowradio.com on our YouTube channel and our uh, Facebook page.